My love, I have taken control over the Guardian's magic jewels. Our victory is almost complete. Monarch's victory will never be complete. All I need now are the Ladybug and the Cat Miraculous. Once I get them, I'll combine the two and fulfill the magic wish that will bring you back to me. Please reconsider. If you bring her back, someone will have to leave in her place. It's too dangerous. Silence! <laughs> we will not be forced into silence. We will not be prisoners to Mark. You are not my prisoners. You are my slaves, and I am your master. Do you understand, you stupid creatures? Hmm. Natalie, Ladybug has finally faulted. Taking risks has paid off. I have nearly all of the miraculous, including the one of evolution granting the power of time travel. Gabriel, wait for me. As soon as I'm home, we'll... How many times in the past was I so close to seizing Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous? By returning to the past, I'll be able to anticipate their actions and steal their magic jewels when they're at their weakest. Or rather, mm. when they were at their weakest. Gabriel, there might be another solution. <sighs> Nuru, flop dual metamorphosis. <sighs> I can defeat Ladybug, I know it. There's got to be the perfect moment. There is another way to use the Miraculous of the Rabbit. <gasps> You could go back to a time before Emily used the damaged Peacock Miraculous. You can save your wife, Gabriel. <sighs> this holds the information on how to repair the magic jewel so that Emily never becomes ill using it. You would just need to give the drive to yourself. Make the right choice. It's not too late. How did I not think of that? Thank you, Natalie. Nuru, Fluff, Bark, Triple Morphosis! <gasps> Are you sure you're ready? Yes. I won't let you destroy my future, Ladybug! I'll be right back, my love. I promise. Ladybug! Once I get that last Miraculous, you will disappear forever! And you! You're all going to help me! There! You! You can grant me any power I want! You will give me the power to travel through time! No, you're mistaken! Time travel is Fluff's power, and I can't grant the power that already belongs to another Kwame! Are you trying to deceive me? By all means, read the grimoire again! <laughs> Each Kwame represents a concept, and a concept can only exist once in the universe. Too complicated, Sass! Let's use an example to make things simpler. Take Tiki, she is the Kwame of creation. And creation is creation, and if there's another creation than creation, then it's not creation, it's replication. Then grant me the power to locate Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Trouble is, that's not a power, that's a wish. For instance, if I ask Santa for a pair of socks, that's a wish. But if I want Santa to grant me the power to knit socks, then it means Santa needs to know how to knit socks in the first place. We can teach me. Grant me the power to unmask Ladybug and Cat Noir's secret identities. No can do. I cannot give a power that would disrupt another Kwame's magic. And being able to conceal the person behind the costume, well, that's part of the magic of their Kwame. Uh, so you're utterly useless. Uh. Won't be talked to like this, sir. Oh, very nicely done. You've offended him. Not at all. I'm not offended. Are you proud of yourself? Really, I'm fine. I command you to be quiet. 
Actually, I don't need your powers. I just need you. So you're going to reveal your guardian's identity. I command you. Ladybug! I know Ladybug is the guardian. What I want is Ladybug's secret identity. I order you to reveal it. Kwamis cannot expose the identity of their holder. And since Ladybug has never announced us, she's still our holder. It's kind of like those pajamas you put away without washing them first, you see? You want to play? Well, then let's play together. I don't need Ladybug's identity. I only have to force you to tell me where she lives. <laughs> and there's no rule against that, is there? Take me to where Ladybug lives. Just follow the spell of croissants. Nuru, Kalki, Pollen, Ways, Unify. <laughs> it's time to capture that tricky Ladybug. Not the time, Adrian. What do you think of the new miraculous, my dear Kwamis? <laughs> new room. Dark Wings Rise. Ladybug, Cat Noir, you'll never get the chance to deceive me again. Because Monarch's reign is about to begin! How do you like your French toast, Adrian? Uh, well toasted, Father. Call me Dad. Your school's parent-teacher conference is scheduled for today, right? Yes, Father. I mean, Dad. Perfect. I cleared my schedule to go with you. It's about your future. It's important. Um, are you sure you're feeling okay? I've never felt better. You know, Adrian, you and I were a lot closer before your mother disappeared. Since then, I've spent far too much time working and have allowed too much distance to grow between us. Can you imagine? I couldn't even see that you didn't want to be a model any longer. <clears throat> <clears throat> How do you like your eggs, son? Soft-boiled, fa- Dad? Ask Alliance how long they're supposed to cook, will you? Speaking of which... Dad, I'm not really comfortable with having my face on all these rings. That's actually why I didn't want to be a model anymore. To avoid that. Do you... understand? Of course I understand, my son. But that's the point. It's just an image. It's not you. And since this image frees you from your obligations, we, the aggressor, are able to spend more time together. But if you'd rather everything went back to the way it was before, just say the word. You're probably right. You'll see, my son. Alliance will bring us closer. Alliance, can you please tell us how long it takes to cook soft-boiled eggs? For soft-boiled eggs, cook for three to four minutes. Sir, 
There's a student conspiracy to akumatize someone in order to figure out how Monarch is using his new powers. And this concerns me how? You're the target. Today we'll look at preparing for your children's future after junior high. But before we get started, I'm missing a file. Mr. Agrest, after career day, your son should have given you a file which he had to indicate his wishes for next year. Do you have it? I do. But now that my son has changed his wishes, I still need to help him figure out what his future will be. Please do send me the file as soon as it's completed. Miss Bustier, can I just grab my organizer? I left it in my desk. Yeah, but hurry up and, uh, Marinette, why are you holding a pizza in your hand? Oh, this? <laughs> it's just, I was in the cafeteria when I realized I forgot my organizer! Uh, <gasps> Whoa! I am such a klutz! Such an ugly stain! Let me clean it up! Ah, I'm so stupid! I'm only making it worse! And I bet that's a crazy expensive suit, too. I can't imagine how upset this must make you. Uh, he's tough. Phase two, you're up, Comrade Mayo. Adrian, are you coming from the cafeteria, too? Yes, I forgot my school bag. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dad. You must be so angry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not working. He's resisting. Quick, phase three, Comrade Bird Major de Hotel. No way, man. Come on, for Ladybug and Cat Noir. <sighs> huh. Oh, yeah, you're not going to. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, am I clumsy? <clears throat> yes, come on, come on. Come on, Adrian, we're going home. Uh, aren't you super annoyed? Or absolutely furious? A bit upset, at least. I am. By the level of this school, the behavior of its students, and the lack of dietary quality of the cafeteria. As for your question, Miss Bustier, I already have the answer. As far as his future is concerned, Adrian will never set foot in this school again. Comrade, it's going to transform! Hold him back! We need more cream! Ketchup! Mustard! I told you this plan was bad. All we've achieved is getting rid of your BFF. At best, he's the one who's going to get akumatized. Mr. Agrest, I owe you an apology. All your troubles today, the pizza, the pasta, the chocolate, all that was, that was a plan to help Ladybug and Cat Noir. And it worked, dude! I mean, sir, Ladybug, Cat Noir, look. Magic lightning. That's how Monarch gives his akumatized villains the power of the miraculous. Hmm, well spotted, young man. This is a huge step forward, Nino, but you and your friends also took a huge risk and forced Mr. Agrest to take one, too. Don't be too hard, Ladybug. They were only trying to do good, and sometimes in order to do good, anything goes. Then Adrian can still go to school with this dude? I mean, Mr. Agrest? Of course he can. You're so cool! I mean, kind. Thank you. It would be an honor if you would become Mr. Comrade Tartar Sauce, an honorary member of our Resistance Network. <laughs> That's some awesome sauce. Found it! Adrian, I was so worried. I'm so sorry for making a public scene. My anger spilled over again, but Ladybug made me realize that despite my failures, I couldn't give up on us. Father, I think I'd rather not wear an alliance. Do you... do you mind? Of course I don't. And please, Call me dad. Mm. How nice to see you so cheerful in the morning, Adrian. Bananas on your pancakes? Yes, father. Uh, thank you. Dad? Adrian, you're going to be late. <gasps> Adrian! Gabriel, if you'd spent more time with your son, you would have known he prefers his pancakes plain. Adrian, if you didn't want bananas, you could have told me. No, no, I, I like them. I was just lost in thought. You see, there's this girl... Adrian, don't force yourself to eat them to please your father. It's not that. It's just... Natalie, leave Adrian to his pancakes and let me know how you want yours instead. Mine? Your pancakes. Why don't you come and sit down so that we can all have breakfast together? Right, Adrian? 
Yeah, like family. For Adrian, I will eat even your pancakes, sir. Since we're family, you can call me Gabriel. How about Gabe while we're at it? Adrian, Adrian time it's to get time to... To... Hmm? to go to school. Right, to go to school. <laughs> my school bag! I forgot to pack my school bag! Do that again. I came to this house to hunt magical artifacts for you and Emily. I became your bodyguard, your right-hand woman, your friend, and even more. But this is all over. You used to do this out of love for Emily, but now you're only doing it out of madness. And the only reason I'm still here is to protect Adrian from you. But everything I do is for Adrian's happiness. The only thing Adrian needs in order to be happy is his father. You'll never bring Emily back, and it's time to accept that. She accepted it herself. No. Stop kidding yourself. You saw the recording she left just as I did. Emily always deserved more than what she wanted. That's why I made you destroy the recordings. I... I couldn't bear them. It's too late anyway. I can't give up now. No! If you don't help me make the wish come true, I won't be able to save myself. I won't be able to save you either. If we don't do something, Adrian will be left... all alone. n'est pas ce que tu vois Tout ce qui se combine pas ce que tu crois Tout ce que je désire je l'obtiens de toi En claquant les doigts Comme d'un battement d'aile légère Je m'élève vers mes hauteurs solitaires Et de là-haut je regarde en bas En claquant les doigts beau, bas, le bas, le bas, le bas. What has gotten into you? Can you smell that, Natalie? Don't tell me you've been making pancakes again. No, Natalie. Even better. Warning threshold exceeded. Data beyond normal human capabilities have been recorded on two alliances. Between 4.12 p.m. and 4.26 p.m., Alia Cesar traveled 14.8 kilometers. Zoe Lee traveled 15.2 kilometers. Their routes were 98% identical. Meet the new holders of the miraculous. Scarabella and Kitty Noir. Congratulations, Gabriel. Now I just need the right combination of powers to deceive them. Can you smell it now, Natalie? The smell of victory! Hmm. The day has come, my love. Soon the miraculous of the ladybug and the black cat will be mine. I will finally unite them and make my wish. We'll be together again. At long last. I'm wasting my time, Natalie. And time is something I can't afford to lose. Every time I use second chance, time rewinds for Ladybug, Cat Noir, and the rest of the world. But not for me. I remember every one of those attempts. And so does my body. <gasps> Gabriel, your heart has been hurt. You can never use the power of second chance again. And who will use it then? You, perhaps? Forgive me. As for using an akumatized villain, it's too dangerous. They'd hold soul power over time and memory of the events. And if they foolishly compromise that power, we could lose everything. So far, you're the one who acted foolishly, risked everything and lost everything. Your use of the miraculous is condemning us. Gabriel, you may only have a few weeks left like this, and I don't have much more than that. Maybe it's time to stop chasing after the Miraculous and start looking for a solution for Adrian. Make sure he's not alone once we're gone. Do it. For Emily. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me, Adrian. Besides Natalie and me, is there anyone else you like to spend time with? Fancy that, Marinette. I like spending time with Marinette. Guess what I'm calling for? Nothing! Can you believe it? I'm calling you randomly, totally out of the blue for no reason at all. So you didn't write down everything you might need to say to me based on everything I might say to you? Not at all! Well, I did. I really
really tried not to, you know, but it was too hard. Anyhow, I limited myself to 14 possible conversations, including this one. Congratulations. Thank you. And did you prepare questions for science class? Not a one. Not even for the live video conference we're doing with Max's mom on the super awesome Saruki space jet. I, Marinette, will improvise questions unpredictably without planning anything. <laughs> Dad! I have to go! Dad! I'm fine, Adrian. I just got distracted. So did I hear that your school is hosting a video conference for the Sarugi Space Jet Test this afternoon? That's absolutely wonderful. My love, I'll be putting myself in danger like I never have before. I know you wouldn't like it, but if I succeed, we'll be saved together at last. In order to unite us, I'm going to break up Ladybug and Cat Noir forever! Reverse morphosis. All right. Congratulations, Ada. You and I make a wonderful team, Claudie. <laughs> so cool. Is it over? I love it. <laughs> Max, you're the greatest genius the world has ever seen. Only up to 99.86%. Dad? Dad, are you okay? It's nothing. I'm just a bit tired. Between the launch of the Alliance Ring, the new fashion line, I haven't had a moment of rest. I can't do this anymore. I spend way too much time working and not enough time with you, Adrian. I'm going to do everything I can to change that. Well, really? It's my greatest wish. Oh, uh, Marinette. You can take your friend's call, Adrian. Marinette, my father's fine, thank you. You want to improvise our conversation? Sure we can. You took a huge risk for a disastrous result. All that your attempts have accomplished is to accelerate the effect of Cat Noir's cataclysm. How much more time do I have? <sighs> Probably very little. Kagami, we're going. I didn't know you and Kagami weren't seeing each other anymore. You were such a perfect couple. It's a shame. Kagami's perfect, but not perfect for me. You underestimate yourself. You and Kagami are of the same design. I just feel better with Marinette. You're clinging to Marinette because her mediocrity allows you to shine with less effort. But you're better than that. There's no one better than Marinette, Dad. If only you knew her. She's generous, funny, creative, brave. Mom told me how you met. You two came from different worlds, but that didn't stop you from loving each other. Why shouldn't it be the same for Marinette and me? Adrian, I'm your father. I know what's best for you better than you do. That is why I'm forbidding you to have any relationship with Marinette Dupin Chang. said anything about healing. All I need is time. More time to seize Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Then I could wish for anything. I could fix everything, save my wife. You too, Natalie. And save myself. You're forgetting my part of the deal, gabriel son. As always, you're losing yourself in sentimental trifles. Our vision of the future is much bigger than that. We are connected, just like our children. They were made for each other, and I will not tolerate another glitch in our plan. Whether it be Adrian's cousin, that Felix boy, or this Marinette Dupang Chang who keeps lurking around your son, my daughter's behavior is exemplary, and I expect the same from your descendant. I promise you I'm going to regain control over Adrian and seize all the miraculous ladybugs, cat noirs, and the peacock. As it turns out, Felix had the bright idea of leaving this behind during his last visit. Interesting. And that's why I'm sure this is all just a big misunderstanding. You're right, Marinette. There is a misunderstanding. You see this pancake? It's your future. If it's not big enough for you, I can make uh. it just the way you like. Simply tell me what you want. Double pancake? Triple pancake? 
with jam, maple syrup, bananas. All you have to do is ask and you'll have everything you wish for. You know, I remember the hat you created for Adrian. You're talented. And with my support, the daughter of the local bakers could become the world's greatest designer. The perfect <clears throat> pancake awaits you. The only thing you won't be able to do with that pancake is share it with Adrian. Uh. And to prove my point, do you see him in this kitchen? No, he's not with you. And he never will be. Because Adrian has a destiny, and that destiny does not include sharing pancakes with you. But, no, that can't be. Adrian and I are in love and- I don't think you understand, child. So let me put things differently. Life is like fashion. You think you have a choice, but all you have is the illusion of choice. And I decide what choices are given to you. You're wrong. Fashion is about listening to people. It's about understanding who they are, what excites them, and creating the clothes that will help them express their inner world, help them connect with others, and make their dreams come true. <laughs> no, that's not fashion. That's making dresses for your dolls. Fashion is a product, a marketing strategy, an industry that relies on an uninterrupted trend renewal that forces you to either throw away everything you have and buy more, or worse, to be out of fashion. Thanks to the clothes I create, the celebrities who wear them, the advertisements I design, and the alliance rings that broadcast them, I create an idyllic vision, a perfection that everyone aspires to achieve while keeping it just out of their grasp. You finally understand the difference, don't you? You listen to people's desires and create what they want. Somehow, people make you. Whereas I create people's desires. They buy what I decide they'll buy. They think what I want them to think. I'm the one who makes people. You think you love Adrian? But you're just under the spell of this world I've created. A world where Adrian is a star, shining high above. A world where you're just a part of the crowd below looking up at him. That is why nothing can ever happen between you two. The only choice I'm offering you is this. Either you eat this pancake and have everything except Adrian, or you refuse the pancake and you'll have nothing except your childish dreams. So will you take the pancake with syrup or jam? I recommend jam, it's clementine, slightly bitter, but really delicious. I think I lost my appetite. <laughs> All things considered, I understand why you like that Marinette du Panchang so much. You do? She really is an incredible young lady. Such passion, such determination. Enjoy your time with her, my son. These are precious moments, creating memories you will cherish deeply when you're in London next year. May I go up to my room? I think I've lost my appetite. But of course, Adrian, you're free. You really want to send him to London? It's for his own good. And I don't know who could stop me. I swore to you that I would do everything to bring us together again. We're almost there. When Gabriel has a vision, nothing can stop him. Not even the impossible. His passion sweeps everything away. He wanted so badly to make me happy that he pushed us too far. And when I realized that, I couldn't make him understand that sometimes you have to let go. Now it's too late for me. <laughs> but not for you, Natalie. Adrian shouldn't have to suffer the consequences of our mistakes. Our little prince has the right to create his own vision of happiness. Please, protect him. Just in time for breakfast. By the way, how did your friend Marinette take the news of your upcoming departure for London, Adrian? Oh. You haven't told her yet, have you? I can understand it is indeed a little sad. But you know, I'm doing this for your happiness. Are you sure this is about his vision of happiness and not your own? <sighs> I am his father, and I know what is best for him. You should have listened to Marinette's advice, father. Your pancakes taste as bad as <clears throat> ever. Have a nice day, Natalie.
Go pack your bags. The plane to London leaves in an hour. Dad, tonight's the end of the school year dance. Adrian, I am your father, and I refuse to hear another word. Your powers have evolved. Do you realize what this means? You've grown up. You're stronger now. I wish it were true, Plague. I'll try to believe it is anyway, for you and for Marinette. You cannot disobey your father, but don't let anyone stop you from loving who you want. <sighs> Father, please, I know what I want. Let me live my life here in Paris with Marinette and my friends. You must go through with this like an aggressed. That's what your mother would have wanted. No! I'm sure that mom would have just wanted me to be happy! <laughs> Ninety-nine percent download. We may begin, Gabriel. Nuru, Dark. Give me a minute. <sighs> Emily, I have given up on everything. My dreams, my ambitions, my morality. But I never gave up on you, my love. I only have a few hours left now. But nothing will stop me from seizing Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. I will unite the magic jewel so I can make the wish that will bring you back to me. I can't let you do that. If you make the wish to bring her back, someone will have to go in her place. Emily would never have agreed to this. Do you think I'd be monstrous enough to sacrifice a human being? This is terrible. All these years working together, and you really think that I'm a monster? <gasps> Nuru, Darkwing, <gasps> rise! <sighs> There's nothing you can do to stop me now. Darkwing's fall. I knew that you would betray me, Natalie. I was prepared. Cat Noir, Gabriel Agrest is Monarch. I'm waiting for you at his place. We'll only have a shot if we fight him together. I knew it as soon as I realized that you were instigating Adrian's defiance when you started insidiously supporting his ridiculous fling with Marinette Dupin Chang. You will be loyal to me until the end, after all. <sighs> as for the rest, let bygones be bygones. Just think of it as a horrible nightmare. You can relax now. Nuru, bring me back the brooch! I'm still the Guardian, and the Guardian just took the Miraculous of the Butterfly back from you. Its power is no longer yours. Nuru will only obey the next person who uses the brooch. Someone that I'll be choosing! Fred! I can just say the word, and the rings will be destroyed. You'll be powerless. The Kwamis will be free. Thanks to my magic ladybugs, I'll repair the chaos you created. Then I'll send Plague out to give the Black Cat Miraculous back to its holder, and everything will be back to normal. Check. Mate. <laughs> Except you will only have a few hours left to live. So does Natalie, a victim of your madness. And Adrian will be miserable. This is the sad truth. My power won't be able to remedy it. If you meant what you said earlier, then we both want the same thing. We want Adrian to be happy. And that was also your wife's greatest wish. Don't be sad, Natalie. You know that I had agreed to it, that Gabriel never forced me to do anything. But he should never try to bring me back. No one should have their life stolen from them because of a mistake that we made. You must continue to be happy, even though I'm no longer here. As long as there's love, it is possible. Adrian will be well surrounded. He'll have you, Natalie, and he'll have his father if Gabriel agrees to give up on his madness. And on me. Adrian will have all the love he needs to be happy. 
And that's what happened. Adrian has learned to live and build his own happiness while cherishing the memory of his mother. She would be proud of him. I just can't live without her. <laughs> I love her so much. When she left me, the world shut down around me. I still remember her smile on the day Adrian was born, when I placed him in her arms for so long. We've been thinking that we would never be able to have a child. Adrian was our little miracle. Everything was so perfect. Until Emily became ill. She is. She was right. Adrian was not alone. He had Natalie and me. I've ruined everything. Natalie's about to disappear. And so am I. Adrian will have no one left. I'm sure we can figure out a solution. If we work together. You and me. Of course. What if you made the wish? You always come up with impossible solutions. You will be able to come up with the perfect wish that will repair everything. There's no such thing as a perfect wish. Every time the power is used for personal gain, it causes disasters. Power of any nature should only be used for the greater good. But we can think and work out a solution on our own human scale. Even though it won't be as perfect as we want it to be. Give me. Reveal yourself. I am Gimme, the Kwame of reality. I am everything that was, is, and will be. going for you. Say, what year is it, huh? I want to make a wish. Here we are, yet another complainer. You humans only ever summon me to complain, never to rejoice. There is only one thing I wish to change. Fine, what do you want? Eternal life? Well, you want garden peas to turn red? I am warning you, though. To each wish it's sacrifice, because the universe is balanced. For example, if you wish for garden peas to turn red, then strawberries will have to turn green. No! Don't do this! Marinette. Make sure that Adrian never knows about the villain that I was. But instead, that he remembers the times I tried to be a good father. What do you wish for? Read my heart. What do you sacrifice? Read my soul. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> 